Hey guys, welcome to Derek Business Class. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the basic concept of time value of money. As we know, time has value. Like Proverbs says, time is money. Let's think about it. Which one would you prefer to receive? $10,000 today or $10,000 in five years time? I believe that your answer is definitely today. Why do we want to receive the money now, but not after five years? The reason is because $1 today is worth more than $1 in the future. As a basic principle of time value, money available at the present time is worth more than the same amount in the future due to its potential earning capacity. So, after receiving $10,000 today, we may use this portion of money to invest and earn return from it. Another point. The concept of time value of money is important because it allows the comparison of cash flows from different periods. We will explain about it later in this video. All right, another question for you. Let's say your father has offered to give you some money and asked you to choose one of the following two alternatives, $1,000 today or $1,100 one year from now. Which one would be your choice before making your decision? It is important to know that the answer depends on what rate of interest you could earn on any money you receive today. From $1,000 to $1,100, there is an increase of $100 or 10% interest rate. So, if you could deposit the $1,000 today at 12% per year, you would prefer to be paid today. What if you could only earn 5% on fixed deposit? you would be better off if you chose the $1,100 in one year. In short, your decision depends very much on what rate of interest you could earn after receiving the money. What is future value? In short, we call this as FV. FV translates $1 today into its equivalent in the future. This process is called compounding. What about present value, PV? PV translates $1 in the future into its equivalent today. This process is called discounting. For the calculation of time value of money, there are four computational aids. First, by using equations. Second, by using financial tables. Third, by using financial calculator. Fourth, by using electronic spreadsheets, such as Microsoft Excel. Before that, Make sure you know how to draw the timeline. CF is the cash flow. T means time, usually in years or months. I is the interest rate. The timeline is one of the most important tools for solving complicated problems. For applying this, there are some assumptions. First, unless otherwise stated, T equals zero represents today. This is a decision point. Second, Unless otherwise stated, cash flows occur at the end of a time interval. Third, cash inflows are treated as positive amounts, while cash outflows are treated as negative amounts. Fourth, compounding frequency is the same as the cash flow frequency. Compounding frequency could be annually, semi-annually, quarterly, monthly, weekly, or daily. The cash inflows and outflows of a firm can be described by its general pattern. The three basic patterns include a single amount, an annuity, or a mixed stream. As shown in the table, Project A is a single amount cash flow in which only one cash inflow on year one. Project B is an annuity because there are repeating cash inflows from year one to year three. Project C is a mixed stream as the cash inflows from year one to year six are all different. These are the three basic patterns of cash flow that you will find in the questions of time value of money. Let's look at this question. Suppose a firm has an opportunity to spend $15,000 today on some investments that will produce $17,000 spread out over the next five years as follows, as shown in the table. What do you think? Is this a wise investment? pay $15,000, earn back $17,000. In fact, we are not sure. The returns of $17,000 are not a one-off payment, but they are spread out over the next five years. To make the right investment decision, 
we need to compare the cash flows at a single point in time. Either we convert all the cash flows to year 5 to get the future value, or we convert all the cash flows back to year 0 to get the present value. We can only compare the cash flows at a single point in time, which means on year 0 for PV or on year 5 for FV. Cash flows from different years are not comparable, as they have different time value. There are two types of interest. First is simple interest. Interest paid, or earned, is based on the original amount, or principal borrowed or lent. As shown in the table, every year, the interest is calculated based on $100, which is the original principal. So, you don't earn interest on interest. The second type is compound interest. Interest paid, or earned, is based on any previous interest earned, as well as on the principal borrowed or lent. As shown in the table, every year, the interest is calculated based on the previous year total balance. That's why the interest payment is getting higher and higher. So, you earn interest on interest. For the following questions, we will only apply compound interest. All right, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.